okay now we'll see how to read the information from the properties file first what is a property file means okay in your eclipse window if you come we can create a file for example right click on a place where you want to create a file i'll right click on the source file okay you can right click on the source file and then click on new then click on file otherwise you can also click on other and then come to general there will be a folder called general open the folder you can see file click on this file next and then you have to give the file name for example file name i'll just give it as testing dot properties you can give and then already testing dot properties is there i'll just give it as testing one dot properties i'll just give then i have to click on finish make sure that you are giving dot properties then only it will be saved as a properties file okay then click on finish button now if you see here for you your file testing dot properties will be created for you okay so if you open this respective file it will be an empty file what is the usage of this file means okay you can save the information in a variable for example i can save like this name is equal to murali company is equal to bitla software then designation is equal to qld okay and then area is equal to koramangala i can give like that i can store informations under a variable the same thing integer i is equal to 100 you are giving means what the memory location name is what i okay that is a variable in the variable you are storing 100 so that is the information you are going to save it in this properties file also like a variable information we are going to save e each and every information in the properties file now what is the advantage of using this properties file means for example i told when you are going for the respective application when you automate things what will happen you will be working on 100 different files each and every time when you run it okay what will happen when you write scripts what will happen you will be saving it for example okay i am going to use the username and the password information okay in most of the at least for 30 to 40 files i'm going to use now later on what happened they have changed the property information of the username and password now what i need to go to the 30 to 40 files and then i need to change all the places instead of this one what i can do okay i will take the information of the property of this respective username and then the password information i will be storing it in the properties file okay under a variable then what will happen if i change some information okay that variable name will be captured in all the coding file okay if i do some changes in this respective property file what will happen that will affect in all the 30 to 40 files one change will affect in all the places that is the advantage of using the properties file okay what are the things that are happening for us advantage for us means one time saving 30 to 40 files if you want to change means what it takes more time for you the second one what is the thing means here you will not make mistakes they what will miss 30 to 40 files means for sure at least you would be missing out three to four files what will happen there it may be failure will happen but here the failure will not happen that is the main advantage of using the properties file okay now we saw how to create the file now we will see how to access the file okay to access the file okay i have already written information go to the respective okay this is my file information here i have given okay so for using the properties file we have a class called properties okay for the properties class i will need to create an object okay i created an object for the properties class then now what happening okay in the respective reading from the file we used file reader file writer okay here we have to use 
file input stream okay i need to create an object for the file input stream class okay in that class i need to pass the respective location of my properties file okay i'll tell you how to use first i'll comment the this one this one i'll take okay i'll tell you what is this okay in this file input stream class i am going to give the location information of my respective properties file how i can take the properties file respective location okay for that right now i am using testing one dot properties na no? i'll right click on this one here click on properties on the file you can see location in this location you have to copy the respective properties file okay copy this one then that information you have to give in this file input stream class we gave and save it this is how will be saving the file information okay first now what we got the information of the respective file where it is located now what i need to load all the information okay what are the things are present if i see if i come to the testing down properties what are the respective informations are present everything i need to make it to be stored here okay that's what i need to do and one more information right now it's throwing me an error here why because i need to give double slash for the respective location information okay i need to give now i gave now using the properties class we have a method name called load okay in the load i am giving the object information of the file input stream class because what is this file input stream class is having it's having the information of my respective properties file now so that's what i have loaded here now what using the load method the properties class will collect all the informations which is present under the properties file and that will be loaded now what if i give property dot get property okay there is an another method called get property which i need to pass the variable name if i pass the variable name that will give me the respective information under the variable same thing int i is equal to 100 if i give i what will be the output for me 100 the same thing here we are following the process okay now i'll go to the testing one dot properties i'll take the variable name name i'll save here then testing one dot properties copy cleaning properties i'll paste then again i'll go designation okay till this one i have done this one is a normally i am printing okay so name company designation i have given so now i'll run this one we'll see what is the output is coming for me is giving me okay this one i'll tell you what is the thing right now is giving me murli bitla software qa lead estil institute for name we stored murli and for company we stored bitla software designation we stored as qa lead and this one normally i'm printing estil institutes that's it okay now what is the first information is coming we'll see okay so if i give an option system dot get property user directory okay this information what it will do for me means it will give me the current location of my project okay the respective location of my project here right now if you come over here my project is what java basics 1 okay my project is what java basics 1 okay i'll right click i'll check properties here g selenium selenium batch eclipse code java basics 1 this is my respective location okay 
that's what i will be getting here g selenium selenium batch eclipse code java basis 1 this is what i will be getting so with help of this one also i can get my respective properties location usually is a standard format okay i will not be giving me the respective location like this why means in case if i'm changing my project location from here to the some other place otherwise if i'm copying the file from here to the another system what will happen this may be a failure there so what we will be giving i'll be giving system dot get property user directory so what this will do always that will give me the current project location if it is saved in some other place also what will happen according to that respective location only it will give fetch and give me if for example right now it's there in eclipse code right now if i'm moving the project from the g drive to some other drive d drive what will happen now based on this one it will give me the current project location and it gives me anyway for sure i know that where i have saved this respective file inside my project so that alone i'll copy here okay which are the things i need source testing one dot properties this alone i will save it here so now what will happen this one system dot get property user directory will give me the information of my project and then i am concatenating with source testing one dot properties now also what i will be getting the proper location of my file that's how standardly we'll be going for it i'll just comment this one now i'll finish this one now i'll run this one see now also we'll be getting the proper output getting now also i'll get the proper output for this one this so clear now this is how will read the information from the properties file okay now usually we will not write from the write in the properties file we will read the information only from the properties file okay from coding wise we will not write anything in the properties file we will not touch any time the property file always we will read the information alone okay now okay now we will go to the how to read and write in the excel sheet okay in the next session